Come on, buddy. Let's be having ya. I'm actually thinking about setting up some macros for this game. Just to make it a bit easier to use that quick turn. And I'm pretty confident if I can get that down, taking zombies out is going to become trivial. I mean, they're already kind of trivial. Now there's some doggies. There's the doggies. Now there's three of them here. Gatekeeper's note. Who is the gatekeeper? Note two. Despite being told repeated, repeated times by the senior initiates not to inquire about the gatekeeper to Lord Alfred, this seems to be a sensitive subject amongst the inner circle. I have found myself unable to get him out of my mind, so I have resorted to leaving my room at night and exploring the boundaries of Fog Island. Particularly around the graveyard, I've noticed that he emerges from the old rundown shack of a building that is kept out there. Surely that is not where he sleeps. If he sleeps at all, he roams the grounds at night, disappearing beyond the boundaries of the property, moving with the same glacial slowness I've seen him leave through the swamps before. Taking that rickety old boat through there. Ah. He's the only one that I've seen cross the swamp. The strange noises and dangerous myths about the bogland doesn't seem to perturb him at all. Despite watching from the cover of the trees and bushes, Surely out of sight, I can't help get the feeling he knows I'm there, watching him, yet he doesn't seem to care. Hmm, I wonder if he's who brought us to this peculiar place, because, actually we can refill our, oh, our water's already full, cool. Yeah, he doesn't seem to, um, shit, where are the dogs? There they are. There's one. Ah, shit. Not what I wanted to happen, gonna be honest. These dogs will kill us really quick. If we let them... You know what? I don't want to do it, because it's a waste, but... Maybe if we can just thin the herd out a little bit. Come on, Fido. There we go. Whew. Okay. So the shotgun seems to kill the dogs pretty quick. Yeah, anyway, so it sounds like the gatekeeper... Or, yeah, the gatekeeper does seem... Oh, look at that. You know, yeah, certain scenes in this game do just look rather nice. So he's crossing the bog. Hmm. And we know he's under... Uh, you know, the thumb of the master. So I wonder if the master called her, called him to take us, or whether it was a choice finding. Who knows? 21 shotgun shells. That wasn't... That was actually quite a low drop. That was only five shells. Ah, uh, could be worse. Could have been bloody better as well. But whatever. Now, any other goodies? There is more goodies. Handgun rounds and bowgun rounds. Well, okay. Don't care too much about the uh, bowgun. Mainly because, you know, we don't bloody have one. But I'm sure that is something that time itself will sort out for us. I do like the fog in this game. You know, they did try with the atmosphere. And I believe they... They mostly succeeded. The atmosphere is rather... I mean, look at that. It is nice. Anyway, let's go inside. So, for timekeeping's sake, uh, I'm going to be going back down to 20-ish minute videos, I think, just because time has not been my friend recently. But it is what it is. Okay. So we've got ourselves a save room with that absolutely phenomenal save music. Also, 47, 81. Hmm, curious. So we have a save room, but with no save disc. 
with that. Oh, I cannot sing the praises of that music enough. It is so good. 47. Are you alive? Well, you have blood in you. 4781. Hmm. Oh, I see. Say, this uh, this lock mechanism needs to be sprung in order to get the bow. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! We really are full of items, and we've forgotten an item that we actually need to progress here. God damn it! Right, let's see if there's any more enemies out here. We need to come back with an item that took me a little while to realize I suppose it's only over here yeah, it doesn't look like there's any enemies that have spawned in right let me go get it okay so we have our bow gun there very nice oh and a clock an old grandfather clock there's a few of those around here isn't there a nice fire we have another save disc because fuck it why not I guess Ah. Nailed shut. The owner must have hated the sun. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe he was trying to keep the monsters out. I mean, that's a bit of a stretch, Alicia. Come on. Gatekeeper journal. Entry one. Every day is an exercise in pain. Every day I feel what has made me human slip away. With his presence and will filling the void instead. I try to think about my family, what my son looks like, who they even were, yet their memory is obscured by images of that brat, the chosen one, his chosen child. His will is my command, and his will is to protect the chosen one at all costs. How long will I be able to have control of my thoughts before he takes control of my whole consciousness? I chose this fate. I swore my loyalty to him, yet there is something deep inside that tells me I made a mistake. The feeling grows smaller with every hour that passes, however, for his control over me grows stronger by the minute. I should be grateful for the, for he has blessed me with a new sun. This sun is quite large and dwells beneath the earth. His long, segmented body is controlled by the same energy that now coordinates my movements and invades my thoughts. He is ravenous, and he shall feast upon the heretics of traitors of the mat. That is a bad sentence. He shall feast upon the heretics of traitors. Heretics and traitors, surely? Of the master. I must go now, for he calls. His great mouth yearns for those who dare defy his will. Fog Island is my home now, and we are all prisoners. Yeah, so we read earlier that the gatekeeper was potentially going off to feed something. Hmm. Curious. Well, we're not going to worry about that too much. I can feel cold radiating from the flames. This must be some kind of supernatural fire. Did they use it for something? Yes, they did, Alicia. Right, so we have... 21 shells. We now have 28, so we've got 7 there. That was a good roll. I should get out of here. Yeah. We will. We will. Right. There is a strange picture here. AD. Probably refers to Anno Domini. Anno? Okay. <laughs> the year before the Lord. Right, well, what that basically means is we need to put in a year, but for some reason... So, this confused me because I was thinking that this puzzle could not be that easy, right? I don't know if that was something that they added in post, uh, post patches, to have the uh, code literally written in the storeroom. I'm not sure because the guide um, that I was looking at explains quite a complicated method of going through diaries and journals and and putting dates and times and things together to actually get this code 
Uh, but, but you don't you don't need to do that. <laughs> it's literally written on the wall. So not sure if that's like I say something that they've added. Is that not correct? Forty seven. I'm sure that's correct. Forty. I do have it written down here. Just in case. Uh, yep, I'm just being retarded. You've got to push the uh, enter key, not the escape key, to unlock it. All right. So we can go get ourselves the bow gun if we, you know, had space. But I guess we're going to have space because... This was the item that we needed, the empty antique paper, and we can use that in this fire. Alicia used the empty antique paper. Strange note. In this place we plant the seeds of life, so the beauty may bloom among the dead, death and strife. Actually, I think if we go here, it's, it's a lot easier to read it here. In this place we plant the seeds of life, so that beauty may bloom among the dead, and strife. Subterranean structures house the history of the dead. Only the living may enter here. To oblivion they will be led. The trees grow where the souls rest in the earth. Their roots dig deep, using death as a new birth. Hmm. Very curious. Riddle note has been filed. Unfortunately, all hell breaks loose now. That's okay. I'm going to take the handgun bullets. A little bit nasty there. We don't mind taking a nibble or two on the way out of this place. It's worth it. It's better to take the damage. Come on, guys. That dickhead in the hallway. Yeah, better to take a little bit of uh, extra damage, I think, than waste a ton of bullets. Because we're never coming back in here again. At least, as far as I know. Right. Good. 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 Now. We did grab it. Now, see this blood here? Let's get rid of this guy. Three shells, you greedy motherfucker. Honestly. I was waiting for him to appear. I guess we didn't go close enough to the blood before. Alright, whatever. So, now we have that. Let's go and have a fiddle with these levers over here. You can sort of hear a dog whining. We're back up to a healthy amount of handgun bullets. Pretty sure they're going to be drained before too long, but that's okay. Now, remember this. I remember this. We now know what we need to do to activate these. So, we have to match up the symbols. Now, what's curious about this is if we go, if I remember how, back into our file. Uh... No, no. Ah, the riddle note is what we want. So, we can see that there is a, a healthy amount of guesswork involved with these. Now, luckily, I have already done the guesswork. So, this one. It's actually the bottom one, I believe. So we need to yoink it down. We're going to accept that. We need to yoink. And yoink. And yoink. There we go. And then we need to yoink. Yoink. And yoink. 
Yeah, that's it, I believe. There we go. Now that one is present and correct. Okay. So, that is one of these gates locked. Now, let's head back to the graveyard, because we've basically done everything we can. Uh, in fact, if we're going to go back to the graveyard, it might be pertinent to grab some health. Just because. And we can also pull those items back that we may or may not have left around. Now, I've experimented a little bit with the crossbow. It doesn't seem to be that good. If you read the... Uh, blurb here. It kind of says a similar sort of thing to the Resident Evil 2 bowgun. A powerful weapon primarily used to hunt large game. Yeah. But it's not very good <laughs> against zombies at least anyway. Unless it's better against other things. I'm not sure. So. We're actually going to want quite a... Hmm. See, and why don't these things group up in the inventory? All right, ointment. Let's take a small, a medium, and some ointment. And we'll mix up a mega bandage. I actually quite like the, the bandage mixing system. It's fine. Could probably save it because we have 658,000 save discs, but I think we'll be okay for now. Actually, is that famous last words? I think that's famous last words. Hmm. We are going to have an opportunity in a minute to save it. Yeah, one second. I'm going to go save it. All right. Now, back to the graveyard feel a little bit better now now that I know the game is saved um, I suppose that becomes a bit of a bit of an issue really when you just really don't want to save the game what was did we explore all the way down there mm. am I going to go all the way down there I am aren't I right one second guys yeah well, looks like we can't actually get down there anyway. So, back we go. Okay. Well. Somebody's rousing up the locals. 